Now then, welcome back to another episode of Material Energy Hypercube. And this episode, I think we may be starting the first part of a two-parter, the quest grind. Going to see what we can make and what we can do and how we can complete as many quests in the book as possible in the next 30 minutes. Okay, time begins now. Looking at the quest book shows a good story really we've got a lot of things over 50 percent complete lost in time should really be the last thing that we're completing so let's take a look at lost in space as the first set of quests to complete today uh we've got quite a lot of flashing lights let's see this one first this lapis thing yeah this lapis stuff I found almost all of them, except for light grey and orange, in the spatial areas. I haven't found orange or light grey, and I don't know why. Maybe I just haven't looked hard enough, but I'm not looking harder. <laughs> I'm not going to bother looking. If I find some, I find some. But I'm not going to bother looking any harder. We need to get ourselves a l orange and a light grey. Now, if you have a look at the recipe... You've got an unstable ingot in the middle to make the four blocks in the first place, and then some coloured stone to make it. An alternative crafting recipe is to take an existing one and give it some dye. So, <laughs> I'm going to take the existing one and give it some dye, please. So let's see how we got, if we got anything orange dye in here. We've got orange tulips, which gives us orange dye. So we can get an orange one, a lag -a -dat. Easy peasy. Uh, as for grey, what have we got in grey? We've got some grey wool, light grey wool, but we haven't actually got light grey. Light grey, a couple of bone meal and an ink sack. Uh, or grey and a bone meal, but we haven't got grey, so that'll do. Bone meal then. Okay, let's get some bones. Oh, we haven't got any what, bones? Of course we've got bones. Surely we've got bones. We've got dog biscuits. <laughs> we've got dog biscuits. Can the dog biscuits be turned into bone meal? Yes, it can. <laughs> okay. Oh dear, dog biscuits indeed. Alright, so that, that and that. There we go, light grey. And then we should be able to put that there and get the light grey. And then, boom, we've got it completed. Claim reward. Awesome. Next up then, let's take a look at these reward bag seeds. We need a greater reward bag seeds and then presumably some more afterwards. And we're going to need to have some of the bits and pieces around here. So let's make some of these universal seeds again uh, the seeds are they're the universal ones we need the empty ones where the empty ones gone in here there we go universal seeds is this so I need a batch of these how much redstone do I actually have uh, I've got plenty of redstone so let's make I know six of the seeds for now will be a good thing and that will take me to make a couple of these Alrighty, so if we just put the greater reward bags in here, like this, and infuse, we should get a greater reward bag seed. There we go, easy peasy. Alright, so is that that mission completed? Yes it is. And I get some more reward bags. What kind of reward bags do you get? Greater, of course. Well, of course you do. Awesome. What's the next one? The next one along is epic reward bags. Okay epic reward bags they are gonna cast five epic reward bags so we do the same in that as well awesome uh well leave two there five epic reward bags into the infuser we go into the infuser you go there you go and away we go nice and quick and easy to get them so long as you've got the bags and we've been saving our bags for ages so that's that one done claim reward what have we got good reward bag seeds oh crazy Legendary reward bags. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, legendary. We've got... There, we need ten legendary reward bags. What? Ten? Oh, I've got seven. So I'm going to need to do some hunting around for some more legendary reward bags. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll mark that on my quest grind fails. We need a uh, leg... <laughs> Uh, leg reward bags. Uh, we're going to need times three. There we go. So something to figure out when searching through the areas. Next up then, we're going to need some compressed theobromine. 
whatever that is, but it makes cookies. There was another one that needed a uh, compressed theobromine as well, or theobromine. Can't remember where we put it now, though. Uh, but it's in there somewhere. Yep, yeah, we'll check that out another time. But theobromine. We shall make some theobromine. Let's have a look. Theobromine is... Simply carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. Easy peasy. How many do I need for the triple compressed seeds? 32. Okay, was it 32 we needed? Compressed. We only need a compressed. Okay, that's easier. Right, so. Theobromine, on its own, can be... Uh, you Well, compressed. So I've got to make... Enough theobromine in this format, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. And we happen to have a lot of that, because I've been making penicillin out of it. And we've got the ability to make tons more with the water is hydrogen, oxygen. And we've got a load of carbon here, because I've got rid of a load of coal. So we should have everything we need for that stuff. Uh, yeah, and uh, the nitrogen I've got. Yeah, so I should be able to make a load of this. But then we've got to compress it. Which means we need to put 64 of it to make one. And to make this compressed seed, we're going to need 32 compressed theobromine. So I need 32 stacks of theobromine to get started. What a grind. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? That took me the ages. For no reason. For, for nothing more than making some theobromine cookies there we go 64 makes me a compressed theobromine that's the first one now i've got to do that enough times to make a compressed 32 times man 32 times i i i despair i do i despair but finally we get there finally we get there and this compressed theobromine is now infusing with a universal seed <sighs> All so that I can grow seeds of it. I don't understand why this mod even exists, to be honest. But I'm sure somebody will find it awesome some way, shape or form. There we go. Sorted. So do I get that? Yay! Claim reward. I get three more of the seeds and some quadruple compressed cookies. Wait, thank you so much. Next, what are we on? Double compressed theobromine seeds. Oh my days. Oh my days. And then that's probably triple compressed. Oh my days. Growing spatial... I think I'll probably try this one better. Compressed cobble seeds, iron seeds, playing seeds. Spatial I.O. ports. I need 20 spatial I.O. ports. Spatial I.O. I.O. port... There we go. Let's have a look. Spatial I.O. ports. 20 of them. Uh, I'm going to need 20 engineering processors. I'm going to need 20 logic presses. Really? Yeah. I'm going to need 20 engineering processors. I'm going to need 20 logic processors. For each one of these, I'm going to need 40... 40... Wow. 80? 80 diamonds just for this 80 diamonds how many diamonds do i currently have diamond seven okay not nearly enough so the miners delight hypercubed is next on my list and we go into there and we'll get all of the diamonds in fact the rotundra had that didn't it so let's get a load of the diamonds out of the rotunda I'll tell you what, while I'm in here, I think I'm going to take care of this. Take care of this spawner. And that's it. They'd all despawned. And now they're all back again. So what's that? They're just zombie spawner. That's what zombies are these days, is it? Okay, fine. Let's get out of here. This is fade. Okay, it's not, not spawnable ground. That's fine. Now we're up here. Let's go. Right, so we're down on this level somewhere. Were we down on this level? It was the level below. So, like, down here somewhere. Let's go find it. 
Where did I make a hole? I made a hole around here somewhere. Hi, creep. How you doing? Bye, creeps. Ah, uh, this is the diamond. There we go. And what do we got? We've got one of these guys. One of them. There we go. Ah, uh, there's some more. So there must be spawners inside there. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. We can just grab some quickly. Like that. Yeah. Get out. Get out of it. Yeah. You what? You what? I gotta get all these diamonds as fast as I can. I need stacks. Just to make a load of processors. Oh, look at all these diamonds. And I've also got some uh, carbon nano tube, nano tube things to make as well. So, more diamonds the merrier. Uh, get out of my face, would you? Mm -hmm. I should probably block this off, shouldn't I? Okay, what am I going to block it off with, though? Mm -hmm. I guess I could just break these out. Make them fall. So they can't get over here from the outside edge. There we go. Alright. What are you doing? You are nasty. You are nasty, dummy. And you die. Okay, let's get in here, see if we can find the spawner quick. It's going to be down here. There we go, got rid of that. Okay. Now we'll get some more diamonds. Oh, look at all the diamonds. Uh, yeah, that's probably enough already. But I'm going to get some more anyway while I'm here. As I've forced my way down here. Let's get them. Man, this is going to be a grind just on its own. Just grinding these out. I need like 40 of them. Silliness. Let's do this as well. If I make this one... Let's take this out. If I make... Um, a couple, first of all, of redstone and those together. Yeah, silicon. I need some silicon as well. Uh, looks like I've got some silicon ones already. That's good. If I start off by making a couple of these ones, then I should be able to put it, make myself an import-export bus. Um, import. Import there. Yeah, I need annihilation core, which is a logic press. And then export is the other one. Export, which is the other plane, the formation plane. Yeah, so two logic presses, and I should be able to automate this to make my life a lot easier. Okay, so now this is automating the process for me. So it's putting diamonds in automatically and taking the circuits out automatically for me as well. I've got an import bus on this side and an export bus on this side doing the diamonds. And I'm going to do the same here with gold. So I've got an import and I just need to put an export on here. Let's take this off here and put that on there. And then this on here and that back on there. And there we go. And let's put gold into that. And that should then automate this logic press for me. Let's put that around the other way there. There we go. And all I have to do is keep an eye on the levels of what we're doing uh, so for circuits, uh, circuits, there we go. I've got 18 of the 40 that I need. I think I'm going to make about the same. By the time this is done, this 40 printed circuits, I'm going to keep whatever logic presses there are. And then I'm going to set it up to automate the doing the silicon and that as well. Awesome. Uh, printed logic presses, though, I'm going to need two more for starters because I need some more input and output buses. And I'll have this set up in no time to rush through it all. Alright, we're going to get there. Spatial coordination achieved. 20 spatial I.O. ports. Why you would ever need 20 spatial I.O. ports, I have no idea. What do I want to pick? Uh, slime. Why not? Compressed cobblestone. One compressed cobblestone seed. One compressed cobblestone seed. I've got a compressed cobblestone seed right there. Right there. Yeah, there we go. Claim the reward. Whee! And this one. Oh, I've still got to do all of the Theobromine. And I can do some propane and stuff as well. 
Let's go back up to the spatial air. Let's go back up to the mine camp area and do some more of that. Oh, dang it. These things don't even decompose. I'm stuck with 20 of these. All right, so the propane quest isn't that hard. The propane quest is 10 propane. And that's a simple carbon and hydrogen mixture. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have some more hydrogen. Easy enough. We can smash the quest. We can smash all the quests. There we go. That's that one. All right. There we go. Done. And I get some cool stuff that I don't really need because of the big reactors. Okay. And then cobalt. Cobalt. 64 cobalt. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Doesn't seem to be any. It's the strongest alloy. Cobalt. Okay. Well, let's see about cobalt then. Cobalt is made from uh, there it is cobalt made from 27 we're gonna make it in 27 okay or i can make molten molten cobalt into a chemical disposer or do this oh i can just do some of this kind of cobalt gravel or cobalt ore i just need to get some cobalt ore from somewhere or cobalt nitrate hmm Go and see if I got some cobalt ore. It seems that anything with red in it has some form of cobalt nitrate, which is able to be turned into cobalt. What was that one? Obsidian? Magenta obsidian can potentially make cobalt nitrate. Okay, anything with red, pretty much. That's what it looks like to me. Uh, what about those silly pink things? Uh, oh, my angel wings. <laughs> no, never, never, never. But anything with rose red can make cobalt nitrate. And cobalt nitrate can make... Uh, can make cobalt. Cobalt nitrate can make cobalt. And nitrate, of course. So, I need to get... 64 cobalt. So I need 64 things with red in them. So what are we gonna <laughs> what are we gonna do? Red stained clay, we'll try some of that. Red stained glass, we'll try some of that. Red tulips, I can uh, make rose red into that, but I don't want to use all that rose red up. Uh, red frequency bricks, why not? Red coloured cobblestone, why not? We've got all this from like the first area. Red cobble covered cobblestone and uh, soul sand. Let's see now. We just need sixty four of them set up. That should be too hard, should it? It shouldn't be too hard. Let's do this first. Red stained clay. No, no, no. Come on. Do something. No power. Wow, I finally run out of power. Okay, let's put the power back on. We've got loads of fuel still, so nothing to worry about there. But let's get this. Cobalt nitrate. There's five. Okay, let's do this and get some more. There's, there's a few more. Let's, let's get in there. We get in there. We've got all this other junk as well that I might be able to use in the future. Uh, red stained cobblestone. All sorts again, but how much cobalt can we get? Oh man, this is just sort of filling up with trash. Filling up with trash. 24. Okay, uh, let's put that away as well. Let's get rid of all of this. We don't need any of this. Let's put some of that in there. Let's see what we get from that. Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, and that's going to get us some cobalt nitrate. This is going to be tougher than it looks, though. And it's 64 of these. I'm going to have to burn up a lot of red things to get to that. Let's see. I've got a lot of junk, so I can just do the junk and junk the junk. I could also convert things that are from 27, uh, or to get to 27. So I've got 27 here, which is the cobalt nit cobalt, and propane. Propane was... No, that's just an ID, ID number. Cobalt is 27. Okay, so if I halve that, what would I get? Let's see what's 54. What is 54? What is 54? Exonon. I don't think I've seen any Exonon. I don't think I've got any Exonon. I may have one piece. Skystone makes it. Okay. And the chemical bucket and Skystone blocks make it. Okay. Skystone makes it. So that's the other option if I don't have enough things with red in. Wow, this Skystone stuff is weird. Check it out. 
you break this down, you get all sorts of crazy stuff, including this one that we wanted. Uh, but we got silicon, we've got argon, we've got aluminium, we've got some krypton, we've got some magnesium, we've got all sorts of stuff that I could potentially combine up to make what I need. But this 20 extron, with the 35 cobalt I've already got, I should be able to uh, break it down. Let's have a look. Let's go over to the actual chemical lab where I'm supposed to be doing all my chemistry. And do I break it down in here? Uh, no, that's the fusion chamber. That that one not. This one is the combining. Ah, yeah, this is combining. So this one I need to break it down. Let's go and swap the oxygen down into that. And that going to need a, quite a bit of RF. So I need to bring a line up from there. Uh, yeah, from about here. There we go. Right, let's get me uh, some power. Okay, well that's that set up. We got some energy pipes quickly made up. And now that should be receiving lots of power. Oh yes. And that's giving us loads and loads of cobalt. Awesome. Alright, so that's 40 cobalt. So we should have completed that quest. And we go back over to here. All oh, the grind today. The grind. The grind, the grind, the grind. We get some of that. We go, oh, 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 oh. This one needs breaking down into the cobalt nitrate. Needs breaking down into cobalt. That was it. Okay, cobalt. In you go. Let's make this cobalt here. And 57. And uh, we're done. Yep, yeah, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Claim the reward. Awesome. That's those ones. What's this? Manolulium. Manolulium. Easy. Isn't it? Pocophenium. Maybe easy. Let's go and head out and go and try and make these last few here. And see how our cookies are getting on. Our cookies are supposed to be growing over there. Let's go and have a look. See how they're getting on. I've been ages. What are they doing? Uh, these seeds have not grown in the slightest. Why not? These ones have regrown completely. But these have not grown. They are 0% grown. So, yeah, my reactor's working fine. It's giving it plenty of power. Is it that it's not close enough? Maybe. Maybe that's the problem I've got there. Let's take one of these out. Thank you. And break one of these. Actually, if I break one, do I, do I lose it? Become normal dirt? Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, let's move this over one then. Okay. 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 We can do it. We can do it. Let's see. And this goes in there. There we go. So that's outputting power into that. And let's see if that one grows. And I'll put this one here for good measure as well. And we'll get rid of this. And put that one here for good measure as well. Because I've been doing this for ages now. And this for not growing is a bit of a pain bit of a pain. Okay, so we're going to need a bit of ardite, but we're also going to need some of this cobalt in there. And I don't know how I can use this cobalt to put and make the actual cobalt itself. Uh, 16 makes one ingot. Okay. And the quest requires me to have uh, five ingots. So this stuff in here should smelt down and I need to do five ingots of cobalt. Oh, man. Just a little shy of five ingots worth of cobalt, man. Okay. Okay. But it's not far off. I can do that quickly. And that's 36 ingots of that. Awesome. I then realized that we've already got four dust from the quest. So I only actually needed to make one more out of this to be able to put that into my smeltery to get the cobalt into the manulium that we need for the quest. So, fairly easy quest and a logical progression as well because you've already been given most of it in uh, the quest previously as a reward. So, there we go. That should quickly do. And there it is. Awesome. Okay, so... Uh, give me my manulium. Manulium. Hopefully it doesn't take it off me either. I can use it later. I made some of this stuff to make myself some armor. In fact, speaking of the armor, while we're just uh, waiting for that to pour, I started making some of this stuff. And uh, this one's a good one. Protection 4 on breaking 3. But this one, fire protection, I didn't like that one. So uh, I'm going to get myself a book and sort that one out, I think. 
get myself an empty book and take the fire protection off and re-enchant it quickly before the end of this episode. Part one of the quest struggle. Part one of the quest struggle indeed. Let's put this in there and get that. And we'll take the fire protection. There we go. And then just make myself a fresh helmet. And we'll get that from in here. Oh, there's the five. Good, good. Uh oh, I'm getting all the art out now. That's alright though. It's fine. Let's let's just not worry about it just yet. Let's do a helmet again and see what we get as our reward for a few hours of grinding out for a 30 minute episode. <laughs> right, let's see. What do we get? We got protection for last stand two. That's not too bad. That's okay. I can deal with that. I can live with that one. That's good. We'll put that on the stand. This is all getting ready for the next big adventure. I've, I've still got decent armor here, but my leggings and my head were so battered from the last time that I decided I would just quickly make a new set. Okay, so what have we got here then? We've got this one wins and we get another block and a couple of reward bags. Awesome. Okay, so we're getting close. This one's a long way away. This one we've got to go searching for. We've nearly completed this half of the, uh, the quests on this first area. These ones should be a few interesting little things to do in the next part of the quest grind. And then we can't do any more bake to win. We can do the chemistry stuff. I can get a load more chemistry done. I've got all the diamonds I need to make these carbon nanotubes. And that will probably unlock this. These saplings then shouldn't be taking too long. And this is a bit of crafting. A bit of crafting. A bit of pointless crafting. But I do get a yellow heart canister from it. Which is super awesome. Because it's an extra heart for the next adventure we're going to have in the next episode thank you very much for watching another episode of material energy hypercubed uh, this one was one of those cut scene cut to this and cut to that actions one but there we go we're all sorted now thank you very much and i'll see you next episode